in Book 2, Old and Young, Chapter 16 of Middlemarch, the subject of the chaplaincy is a hot topic of conversation at the Vinci's when Lydgate comes for dinner. He begins to realize that Bulstrode rules the town. The banker's hmm. power derives from knowing people's financial secrets and providing them with personal loans. Rosamond enchants Lydgate with her beauty, manners, and piano playing. He also meets Mr. Fairbrother, a handsome clergyman of 40 and a naturalist, who invites Lydgate over to look at his beetle collection. After Lydgate leaves, Rosamond meditates on Lydgate as a marriage partner who would get her nearer to that celestial condition on Earth where she wouldn't need to deal with these vulgar people. In Chapter 17, Lydgate visits Fairbrother the next day and learns that he supports his mother, maiden aunt, and an elder sister. But he's zealous and not very learned, and he spends his winnings at cards. He's surprised by Fairbrother's openness. Maybe he's not in the right vocation. Fairbrother tells him that if he chooses to vote with Bulstrode, the doctor should not allow that to come between them as friends. In Chapter 18, over the next few weeks, Lydgate learns Fairbrother is a devoted family man and gifted preacher, but the doctor is bothered that Fairbrother gambles and wants the chaplain position for the extra money. Lydgate also doesn't want to be Bulstrode's pawn, but he realizes it's in his best interests to vote with the banker. On the day of the board meeting, Lydgate arrives late. After everyone is voted, the vote is a tie. The doctor has to break it. When one board member says everyone already knows mm. how Lydgate will vote, mm. he gets angry and writes, Tyke. Lydgate says to himself that if he had been mm. free from indirect bias, he should have voted for Fairbrother. These three chapters develop Lydgate's progress as he's assimilated into Middlemarch's culture and begins to gradually lose the independence necessary to be a trailblazer. Fairbrother is something of a foil to Lydgate. Lydgate is growing attached to the vicar, but still thinks of himself as superior. Lydgate shows an inability to empathize with people in difficult circumstances. As he himself begins to feel the tightening of constraints inevitably imposed by community life, he lies about his own motives and ability to keep himself above the fray. 